By the end of this video, you would have learned everything you need to know about face masks, including how to safely put them on and remove them. My name is Dr. Chandos and I'm a public health physician and a lifestyle YouTuber in Nigeria. <music> Gosh, it feels like I've been away for so long. Like between when I, when I left my channel or I stopped making videos, there's been a whole pandemic. COVID-19 has raged worldwide. There's been so much controversies about face masks to use them fast. Some, some of mass confusion, if you ask me, to use masks, to not use masks. Who is it for? Should we reserve it for? people that are caring for sick patients, we reserve it for healthcare providers. The whole confusion has been going on, but we're not going to go into all that today because I think by now uh, there's a consensus that there's a place for face masks. And most governments have now instituted a no mask, no entry policy and are insisting, at least in my state, there's a no mask, no entry or no movement policy. If you don't put on your mask, you're not, you might not be allowed in public places. So right now, we are going to discuss about face masks, the do's, the don'ts, how to use them, the types of face masks, how to remove them, and the whole works. Now, there are generally different types of face masks. So those, the, the types that are generally available here are the surgical masks, and um, which is a type that most surgeons use at least before now majorly surgeons use them and then the respirators which of which n95 is one of them and then the diy masks in fact all over the place since masks were approved and everyone and their grandma seems to be making a mask or the other but uh, i want to encourage us to check the ncdc's website for guidelines on how to make, make face masks you know not all masks are useful some masks are just like fashion accessories if you do not do the correct thing or use the recommendations by ncdc so i'm going to be showing us the different type of masks the first one will be the surgical mask so this is a surgical mask huh? it has two sides this is the outward side that has these pleats right this is how you know that this is the outer one and it has a darker color compared to the inside. These are the ear strings. These are the ear strings. This is the part that goes around the ear. And this is, there's like a, a metal here for molding around the nose. And then this is the part that goes under the chin. This is the other side. So there are different controversies about what side to put on, what side is wrong and what side, but well, we're not going to go into all that today. Let's just talk about masks, you know. So the second type of mask is the N95 mask. So I'm going to leave it, leave a picture, maybe somewhere here, somewhere around here. I'll leave it on the screen because I don't have one readily available here, which is the respirator. And that type is mostly used um, for care of patients, especially in highly infectious settings like treatment centers for COVID-19. And then finally, the DIY mask, which seems to be everywhere. Now, um, this is one. These are the ear string part, just the way you have for the surgical mask. This is the part of the ear string. And um, I think this is the part that goes above the nose. And then note, one thing I wanted to note about this mask is, it's not single layered, you know. It should have two layers. You know, it should have the main material, right? It should have the main material and then somewhat like a fabric you know with a fabric that can act as a filter inside you know so having seen all forms of masks please let us remember at the end of the day that we still have to breathe with these things so let's not get over creative and over exploratory and over adventurous with the making of these masks the first thing i want to say is that face masks are not magic ones you know they are not like a one one fix for COVID-19. When you wear a face mask, you still have to do the other measures like hand washing and social distancing. Think of it like a triangle, you know? There's hand washing on one side, there's social distancing on one side, and then you have your face mask. So if you remove one leg of any of the triangle, that triangle is no longer a triangle. So you need to practice everything. And I want to also say that the mask recommended for everyday use as much as possible is the DIY mask, not N95s or surgical mask and this is particularly important because in this era where we have shortages of face masks we want to reserve them for healthcare workers caring for patients. I want to emphasize one thing do not test these masks I'm talking about this type of mask now 
do not test this mask before buying like imagine a situation where me dr chan does i want to buy a mask and i put it on my nose and maybe i have covid 19 say example and then i put it on my nose and i test and i sneeze into it and i say oh madam i don't want to buy again and i give it to somebody else i give it to her and she sells it to somebody and they say oh let me test it i don't want to buy again and maybe she has covid 19 or she doesn't have covid 19 and then she gets into contact with my 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 droplets from me on the mask maybe shortly after just imagine how that cycle can go on so as much as possible please do not test this mask before buying i encourage sellers to institute a test and buy policy if you test it you must buy it now another important thing i want to say about face masks is the need for them to be worn correctly i've seen people wear their face masks in different ways let me use the diy mask for instance now the way to wear your DIY mask is to ensure first of all that it covers your nose and your mouth completely. Now, this is how to wear it. See how I'm making sure, I hope you can still hear me. See how I'm making sure that it covers my nose and my mouth. And then I put it on behind my ears. Okay. Okay. I hope you guys can still see me. Everybody's still here. Okay, now, so this is how I want to make sure that it covers my nose completely, right? And it covers my mouth. Hmm? And then there's no space. Like, it fits snugly on my face. Now, before you use this face mask, you want to wash your hands or use a hand alcohol-based sanitizer. And when you remove them, it's important to use it as well. Now, if I want to remove my mask, for instance, I'm not going to go and touch the front because this is a part that is exposed to germs, you know. So as much as possible, avoid this part when you're taking it off. So I want to take mine off, for instance. I put my hand in the straps, you know. Without splashing it, I carefully remove this and drop it in my laundry bag to be washed, disinfected and reused because the RM masks are actually reusable. I do not touch here. Mm -mm. I do not remove it from here. I do not pull it from the front. That's not how to remove a face mask correctly. Now, the last important thing that I want to stress is face masks are not recommended for people under two years of age. Children under two years of age are not advised to use face masks. And people who have breathing difficulties as well. So guys, remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And to the next video, I'll try to be as regular as possible and to keep these videos coming out because our people need to know this information. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!